Welcome back to Abstract Almond. Thanks for joining me. Today, I wanna to talk about my top five favorite things that I absolutely love about Moroccan culture and one thing I would change. For those of you who don't know, my husband Zuhail is Moroccan. He was born and raised in Morocco and he is very proud of his culture. Now, after being married to Suhail for three years, I have learned so much more about Moroccan culture and there are so many things to love about it. So without further ado, here are my top five favorite things about Moroccan culture. Moroccans are some of the kindest people you will ever meet. They are so genuinely warm and friendly and welcoming to everybody. They're also incredibly generous. Generosity is very much a part of Moroccan culture. On our second date, Suhail gave me chebekia. Chebekia are these very special Moroccan cookies. They're made from sesame and almond. They're shaped, they're fried, they're dipped in honey. They are absolutely delicious and Suhail loves them. His mom had brought these chebekia for him when she had come from Morocco because they're hard to find in the US and they're very expensive when you can find them. So she had brought them for him when she had visited not long before we met, and he thought nothing of sharing them with me on our second date. Of course, he is sweeter than Shavekia. The second thing I love about Moroccan culture is that Moroccans understand the importance of work-life balance. It is just as important, if not more, to enjoy your time outside of your job as it is to enjoy and work hard at your job. There is a time for work, but there also needs to be time for rest, relaxation, and contemplation. Fortunately, Suhail and I help each other equalize our work-life balance. Aesthetic appeal is important in Morocco. Design, beauty, and functionality all work together. You shouldn't have to sacrifice appearance for function. Something that my husband and mother-in-law have taught me is that with a little patience and perseverance, you can find the perfect outfit, piece of furniture, room layout, or even meal plan for any occasion or price point. Now I know this idea isn't uniquely Moroccan, but it was taught to me by Moroccans and it's very prevalent in Moroccan culture. We're also very fond of Moroccan colors, designs, and traditional craftsmen and craftswomanship. Throughout our house you'll find a lot of the blue on white pattern that Suhail's hometown of Fez is so famous for. There are so many great things about being married to a Moroccan, but one of the best is that you get to travel to Morocco. Number four on my list of my favorite things about Moroccan culture is how diverse it is. The people and the landscape are hugely varied. You have oceans, deserts, mountains, plains, huge cosmopolitan cities like Casablanca, Rabat, and Marrakesh, more traditional cities like Fes and Tangier, and rural areas set in desert, mountainous, and agricultural areas. Each of these has their own traditions, cultures, styles of dress, and food. If you haven't had a chance to visit Morocco yet, I recommend you go just as soon as we can all travel safely. Last and possibly most importantly on my list of my favorite things about Moroccan culture is Moroccan food. I have yet to meet someone who has tried Moroccan food and hasn't loved it. It's fresh and delicious with bold flavors. It's not hot, but it makes full use of herbs and spice to create beautifully balanced traditional dishes from iconic mint tea and tagines to Moroccan comfort food like life or masemmen, harsha, and briwet. Moroccan food is hard to beat. It's also fairly healthy and well-balanced. And yet many Americans have never tried Moroccan food. I think this is partially because there's a relatively small Moroccan population in the United States, but also because many Moroccan recipes look intimidating, time-consuming, or just inaccessible because they present ingredients that Americans are used to seeing in a very different way. One of our goals here at Abstract Almond is to help make Moroccan food more accessible to non-Moroccans and to explore fusions of foods from our cultures and around the world. Now we come to the one thing that I would change. As you can tell, I love being married to a Moroccan. We love celebrating and sharing Moroccan culture in every way that we can. The only thing I would change is that I can't speak Arabic or Moroccan Darija, which makes it hard to interact with our Moroccan family and friends and Moroccan culture as much as I would like to. I'm in the process of learning, but I still have a long way to go. If you all have any Arabic or Darija learning resources that you could share with us, we would greatly, greatly appreciate it. 
I'm in about the intermediate level, which seems to be an Arabic language resource void here in the United States. So any resources you could point us to would be a great help. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments below what your favorite part about Moroccan culture is or what you're most interested in learning more about. We'll be back next week with a recipe video, but in the meantime, be kind, find peace, and spread love. We'll see you soon.